Does jazz ever sound a little chaotic to you? I mean, how does it work? Sometimes it sounds like it's out of control. It's actually a lot of structure in it. And I can show you uh, a simple example of how it works. Nice, simple song, Tenor Madness. In real books and fake books, usually each line is four measures. So at a quick glance, you can see this is a 12 bar blues, four, eight, 12. Um, and it repeats. There's uh, no bridge. Um, the whole form repeats. So this is a good example to use. And what happens is, this is the melody of the song. And then when it goes into solos, they do what's called soloing over the form, where they're literally just playing an, a, an alternate melody um, to the actual melody of the song. They're just making up, using the same changes and the same form, 12 bar blues. And here's an example. This is Sonny Rollins playing the song that he wrote, Tenor Madness. And what you can do, you'll, you'll hear them play, and you'll hear him play the 12, 12 bar form, and then he immediately goes into a solo. And you can hum the melody over his solo and that will give you an idea of how it works. So it goes like this. So you don't have to count measures. You can count measures, but if you're playing with a good bass player and you can hear the changes, um, and if you practice in four bar phrases, then you can practice trading fours. It comes in handy for soloing, um, but it also comes in handy for just about any form of jazz. Usually, most jazz songs are broken up in four measure phrases. So it might be eight bars or it might be 12 bar blues, but it's divisible by four measures. And you can hear the melody in your head. And so if they turn to you and say, solo, and they set their horns down and walk away, they're probably gonna want you to solo over the form. So you can just count um, three groups of four measures when you're doing a drum solo. Or you can hear the melody in your head, play the melody in your head and play. Usually it ends up being a more musical solo. When I do a drum solo over the form, I want you to be able to tell where I am in the form. I want it to follow the song to a degree. I'm not going to go bum bum ba dum bum bum ba dum bum bum ba da ba da ba da ba da bum. I might at the very end to bring the band back in, but uh, you know, you can throw out certain um, accents uh, as road markers where you are in the form. Um, good musicians will have no problem following you, but if you're playing with uh, neophytes, then they may very well have problems following you and you want to make it more obvious. You just you, you adjust your playing to suit. Um, but this is not about drum soloing. This is just about jazz in general. This is how jazz works. It's about alternate melodies, improvising alternate melodies typically over the form. That's it. It's that simple. So get out there and do it.